any idea how to use this? Well, you get to use it on the ACT or the SAT, and there's all sorts of free applications that you can download that are going to help you out. So right now I'm just going to let you know how you can use this to solve simultaneous equations or systems of equations or even using the quadratic formula. It's going to be real quick, real easy, and this is going to do all the work for you. If you watched any of the Algebra 2 episodes, you know that to solve systems you can use systems by graphing, or you can do linear combination, or you can do substitution, or matrices. Well, a really easy way to bypass all of that is to download this application. It's called PolySimul, meaning simultaneous solutions is what it's going to solve. If I just hit enter, I get into this, and the second one is simultaneous equation solver. So I'm going to go right there, and let's pretend I have this equation, x plus y equals 200, and 8x plus 4y equals 1,304. It's an easy equation to solve, but it's even easier with the calculator. I put in the number of equations I have. I have two. How many unknowns do I have? I have two. Then it gives me a matrix. I put in the coefficient matrix over here on the left, and I put in my constant matrix here. So it's 1x, 1y equals 200, 8x, 4y equals 1304, the cool thing is, these buttons now have new functions, and they tell you the new functions just by this writing up here. So if I want to solve this matrix, I now hit the graph button, because now it's turned into the solve button. It takes a minute for the calculator to think, but then it gets the answer. 126 is x, and x2, which was y for us, is 74. And that's it. I'm done. If you have a 3x3 three three matrix or a 4x4, four four, all you have to do is enter all that in here, and it does all of it for you. Another really cool thing about this application is you can solve a quadratic equation. That's the very first option, poly root finder. So you hit enter, and you have to enter in the degree of your polynomial. So a quadratic is a second degree. Then you just enter in your a value, your b value, and your c value, which they call a2, a1, and a sub 0. And you can see where they get that from. Again, the graph button is the solve, so I just hit that gives me my answer right away. So if you know how to use the quadratic formula, you just don't have the time, this is the great thing to do. If you don't know how to use the quadratic formula, you really should learn that too. But this is a quick way to get through all those hard problems on the ACT and the SAT. And you get to use this, the calculator and the applications, when you take any of those standardized tests. So why not? Most of my students use this as a paperweight. Or maybe they just use it to add and subtract. But look what it can do, and that was just one application that you can download for free and use on the ACT and the SAT. There's tons of applications that you can use that are going to help you all the time. Formulas, graphing, remembering things, even study cards. So make use of this. It's more than a paperweight and it does more than add and subtract. It's actually even something you can throw.